Hello and welcome to this lesson on measuring length. Right, what is length? It is a quantity related to the distance between two points. For example, if we talk about the distance between, let's say, Johannesburg and Durban, we are basically working out the length between the two cities. All right. Now, we can use the following units of length. We can use either the millimeter or the centimeter or the meter or the kilometer. Now, remember, millimeter is the smallest of the lot. It only measures between two small points. This kilometer would be the biggest one, which would be, let's say, between Durban and Johannesburg. Right. Now, you're going to need to know how to use or how to read a length or measurement on any of the following equipment. Uh, a ruler, a tape measure, a scale, a carbometer, even using body parts, for example. I might need to use a ruler, let's just take this one for example. So that, and I have to work out the distance between two points. You have to use this ruler to be able to work it out. All right, the same goes with tape measure on a scale. A carbometer is basically the, um, the numbers that you get on the, in a car, when you have to read a speed or whatever, you have to, also find that you have to work out the distance. Uh, the, the body parts, for example, if I say to you, calculate the length between this point and this point, you are able to work it out quite quite fairly accurately. If it's, I tell you that my shoulders are so many uh, body parts apart from each other. All right, so let's have a look at the following. Right, the first one. You're asked to read the following. Now, here's a carbometer over here. Now, what I was talking about just now is this aspect over here. Okay, here, the speedometer is a reading of the speed, but here I want to look at the actual number over here. Now, how to read this number is basically, the black part is the whole number for the kilometers, the red part is the decimal. So over here, it would be reading 965, comma, four kilometers, okay. Over here, I'll ask you to read the measurement of the crayon and the pencil. Here, the crayon would be about three inches and the pencil would be around about 16. Now, why is it three and 16? It's simply because it ends at the three and 16 and also starts at the zero. Now, whatever would happen if it was starting, let's say, at one and ended at three, over here? Then you would find that the crayon would be only two cent two inches. You would basically work out the difference between the two numbers. All right, so there you go. It's 965,4 kilometers and three inches and 16 centimeters. All right, so let's look at some applications. Calculate the speed of the car traveling from 500 to 700 kilometers on a odometer in two, in two hours. Now here, you have to work out the difference in the distance and then divide by the two hours. So the difference in the distance is 700 minus 500, which is equal to 200. Now we're gonna say that 200 kilometers divided by the two hours will give me the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Joe measures a nail on the ruler. On one end is, one end is on the one centimeter, the other is on the 10 centimeter mark. Here you just work out the difference between the two. So 10 minus one is equal to nine. Right, last one. If Sipa drives 20 kilometers per using 10 liters of fuel, what's his petrol consumption? Now here, petrol consumption is always defined by the number of liters over the number of kilometers. So you would say 10 over 20, which is equal to 0 0.5 liters per kilometer. Now, there are questions in the activity where you're going to be asked for every 100 kilometers. Now, all we're going to end up doing is just multiply that number by 100 to get your answer. Okay. If you get it for 50 kilometers, uh, per 50 kilometers, you would answer, you'd, uh, multiply that number by 50. All right, so let's just go you guys through the questions for the homework. Carol filled the petrol tank with a car 53.62 liters of petrol when a odometer on a car showed that much. The next time she filled the car took so many liters of petrol and the odometer showed that much. Now, obviously, you have to first work out the difference in the kilometers, okay. 
How many liters of petrol did she use to travel this distance? Now, obviously, you'd only you would find that you have to use. Uh, you would have to work out the different the 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 addition of this. All right, and then you just take it from there. Okay. On average, is it, how many liters does a car use for every 100 kilometers? Now that's when you work out your petrol consumption and then multiply by 100. If petrol costs 993 a liter, how much did you pay to fill a tank the second time? There you just simply work out that number per liter. Which is a, that is how many liters there are, how much is it going to be altogether by multiplying. All right. Now notice there's a second question as well. Here, make sure you get it in kilometer. Uh, you first change this into to hours only. So you're gonna have to change the six minutes into hours to use that one. And then in meters per second, change that into seconds, that into meters first. Okay.